With a brush of paint and an eye for detail, artist Claire Singleton captures the image of her friend, poet, Timothy Merrill. The walls surrounding them at Nanaimo Arts Council display both of their work in a show they present together, Destillations. So this is an effort at, at bringing different aspects of the arts together. And as far as the paintings went, I worked more or less with pieces I had. I wanted it to be uh, a, a sense where the viewer wasn't being directly illustrative, which doesn't allow your brain to think a whole lot. I wanted it to be where the viewer had to think a bit. Her thought-provoking paintings are paired with poems selected from a collection of books Timothy has written. His passion for writing started as a journalist for the Nanaimo Free Press over 30 years ago, and it's only grown stronger with time. But silence, dear silence, is a friend. You know, it, it can plumb the depths of human emotion and it can soar as high as human emotion can be. The meek and especially the despairing. As a poet, I have uh, certain, certain poems that, that I love, you know. It's not just that I think that people who read it would love it. I actually love it. Friends go, the telephone stops ringing. Under our moon, lovers leave and never return. One of his There's favorites selected for this show harmony. is this poem, titled Schizophrenia. Voice among the dried leaves. In the violet sky there is a full moon. He's Mother been dealing with schizophrenia for over 30 years, and uh, he's been in care a lot of that time. And uh, he has a remarkable spirit think? and work yeah, ethic and a great humanity mm -hmm. uh, support to all people everywhere he meets. You know, uh, most poets go because it's a heartfelt thing. It's one of the better things in their life, oh, maybe even the best thing. I love the little bicycle. Not so much thing. being published, if you always got a red um, but an activity which is satisfying mm -hmm. to the soul, I guess you could say. For a time, the voices stop. The man on the street comes into focus. Everything looks as it should. I think uh, when people hear poets, uh, see art, uh, all of these areas, the theater, uh, the writing, any of the arts, I think that they link their own humanity to it. And I think it's critical in our health that we have the arts. And if we don't have the arts, you start to see the demise of healthy, civilized beings. You see us going more to a degraded uh, perspective on life. Um, and, and I think uh, when you look at Timothy and his stamina and commitment, and how he deals with his life. He is such a great role model. The universe is a friendly place. The meditators wanting God. Although his writing experience is good for God. his own soul, and Timothy hopes it will also help others. The universe is a friendly place. I think any writer uh, um, would want to touch the person like, hey, we're the same. Like any literature, you're probably going to recognize yourself in what you're reading. So it can bring people together. Really Just like it's brought Timothy and Claire out. together, they've created a book of their combined work that's available at the Nanaimo Arts Council. In Nanaimo, I'm Kelly Robinson.